Welcome back to another MLB video and the ALDS and NLDS will be getting underway in just a matter of about 12-15 hours from the time I'm recording this. So in this video I'm going to be running through all four series of the eight teams remaining in the postseason and I'm going to be previewing the series as well as making my predictions. I made my full playoff predictions but maybe some stuff could have changed based on what I saw in the first wildcard series. Let me know what you guys think. Who's going to win this series? Make your predictions down below we're going to start things off with the first game of tomorrow at 1207 central time that's going to be the reigning champs atlanta braves hosting the philadelphia phillies now the phillies they surprised me i was kind of sleeping on them going into it i got both american league predictions right with the guardians and the mariners but i got both national league predictions wrong with the phillies and the padres i thought they'd both get eliminated but the phillies they came to play and it wasn't just their offense out slugging the cardinals it was their pitching too aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler definitely put them on notice and they got a few runs late when they needed in the first game it was coming back from down 2-0 off Ryan Helsley and the second game they just got a couple runs but that's all they needed they really held the Cardinals bats in check with that being said I do think the Braves are going to win this series I'm going to stick with the Braves who knows what Spencer Strider's status is going to be although he just got paid today hopefully he can come back healthy for this Braves team but Max Fried will be pitching tomorrow and I think with what the Braves get got going this year I think they'll have enough to get past the Phillies in the NLDS whether it's with all their bats and last year they won the World Series and I said it in my prediction video all they have done is got better when they won the World Series they didn't have Acuna they didn't have Michael Harris they didn't have Matt Olson Spencer Strider hopefully he can play as well I just think this Braves team has the experience and they're ready to keep rolling now for the other National League series it's the Padres and Dodgers I'm gonna keep this one simple I'm going with the Dodgers the Padres they surprised me as well I saw the Mets getting past them but they're definitely a big sleeping giant with all the star power they have on their team Juan Soto Manny Machado they can get hot they're pitching with you Darvish Blake Snell Joe Musgrove they can get hot as well they have Clevenger starting tomorrow who has a 9 ERA in the games he's played against the Dodgers this year and overall people just forget sometimes anyone that's been against the Dodgers how good this team is from top to bottom it doesn't matter what position you're gonna have an all-star level player They've also completely owned the Padres in the regular season, going back a bunch of years now. They just have the Padres number, and until the Padres prove they can beat them, I'm going to be going with the Dodgers. Now, onto the American League. It's going to be another divisional matchup. This one is going to be the Astros taking on the Mariners. I'm going to be going with the Astros in this one. Justin Verlander against Logan Gilbert tomorrow. Although, one bold prediction I can say is I do think out of all these picks, the Mariners are my least confident pick for the team picking against. I think the Astros are the least confident. I also think the Astros are clearly the best team in the American League, but it's just a gut feeling with how the Mariners have played. When they get hot, they get really hot. But with that being said, I'm still going to be picking the Astros because Justin Verlander, Lance McCullers, he wasn't even there last year when they won the American League. Framber Valdez, they just have so much depth in their starting rotation and their bullpen. Plus, they've played very well against the Mariners this year. Justin Verlander included, he is completely own them this year so this is the same type of thing prove that you can beat them before i pick against them so i'm going to be picking the astros until the mariners can prove that they can beat them in a series and with playoff experience as well houston they have all the playoff experience in the world and now for the other series it's the guardians and the yankees this one i want to take the guardians because i think there's a shot they knock off the yankees tomorrow it's going to be garrett cole versus cal quantrill but then the top of the rotation would bieber and mckenzie go I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen in this series. I feel like the Yankees will be able to get it done. I feel like things are going right for them at this point. I am picking all the home teams, but that's another thing. Pick all the home teams, and I feel like at least three out of four should hit based on the matchups we have going right now. We'll see how that goes. I just feel like the Yankees get it done, but if it is a close game, if they're able to limit the Yankees' bats and their starting rotation is able to pitch anything like they did against the Rays, then I do think the Guardians have a clear advantage in the bullpen late games the Guardians they can grind out some at bats and maybe their bullpen can hold the Yankees really just depends on what the supporting cast around Judge can do because we've seen two different stories this season we've seen everyone but Judge do anything then we've seen times where they're all clicking and that's when the Yankees are at their best let me know your thoughts NLDS and ALDS are starting